Welcome to Riggs Field here in beautiful Clemson, South Carolina as our number 17 ranked Furman Paladins prepare to take on the number 15 ranked Clemson Tigers. This is Grant Allard down here on the field. Our Furman Paladins obviously behind me just coming out of the locker room ready to warm up. The team traveled from Furman today after pregame meal. The team seemed very relaxed. Obviously you see some footage on our YouTube channel earlier of the team uh, getting loose, getting ready before this game. So Coach Allison just spoke to the team about what this game means both for them as a program as well as for uh, what this game means in terms of the respect and uh, the pride that goes into the Upstate Derby. Outside of pride, there's a lot on the line for both teams in this game because they're both regional powers. The national soccer coaches, uh, uh, um, the National Soccer Coaches Association of America Continental Tire Top 25 poll came out with regional rankings today. Clemson leads the South Region in first place, and Furman is in third place. So a win here for the Paladins would be huge today in terms of setting them up for earning an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament at the end of the year. Obviously, the Furman Paladins are ranked number 17 in the Top Door Soccer poll. The Clemson Tigers ranked number 15 in that poll. And in the National Soccer Coaches Association of America Continental Tire Top 25 poll, the Furman Paladins are number 22 and the Clemson Tigers are number 9. But at the end of the day, rankings are out of the window. So we'll go and catch up real quick with Coach Allison and find out what our Furman Paladins need to do to be successful in this game and come home with a W. A really tough game. Clemson are ranked in the top 10. We're ranked in the top uh, 20. Uh, and both teams are ranked in the top 20 of every poll. Uh, so it's going to be a great game. Um, yeah, we've got to come in here and, uh, you know, they got a real nice stadium. Very loud soundboard. Okay, great, great facilities and stuff. And we, we've got to take all that, put it down, get, quiet the crowd if we can. And uh, we've got to start early, start quick, and be, be sharp. And I thought we were very sharp against Davidson. Uh, Scoring two great goals and, and uh, having not been scored on in a while, you know, uh, we've got to weather some storms. But you know, I'm pretty confident in our young kids. You know, hopefully we'll come out and do well. Thank you. Next, we'll catch up with some friends of Furman who have come out here, driven the 45 minutes out here to Clemson from Greenville to be able to watch our Paladins take on their uh, upstate foe. We'll find out why they came, how they came, and what they want the Paladins to do today. This is Grant Allard here uh, at the uh, Clemson Furman tailgate, obviously with a lot of fans of both programs. I'm here with Jeff Mazzola. Some of you guys may remember Jeff as the guy who is the voice of Furman soccer, the first voice every freshman hears. And Jeff, why do you why do you keep on being involved with Furman soccer, and why do you come out to a tailgate like this? Uh, well, first of all, you know Furman soccer is been a great tradition and a great program for many years and, and really you do it while you do it. Number one, you do it for the love of the program, you do the love for the school and uh, you know when you get a, a, a game such as Furman and Clemson with two schools being so close and the rivalry, uh, you have got friends and acquaintances on both sides of the fence, you're going to be rooting for both of them, you know you just want to come on out and, and, and have fun and enjoy it and it's, it's, the, it's the rivalry that uh, you hope that it would be. Both schools are ranked this year how do you not get excited for something like this? This year it's at Clemson. We'll see what happens next year when it's at Furman. It's just uh, a good environment. You come out with your friends and family, and, and you take in what you hope is going to be a great game on both sides. So the past two meetings have been 3-2. to two. You talk about rivalry. The past two meetings were 3-2 to two for Furman. Jeff, uh, who do you think is going to win today? Ah, you know what? It's going to come down. It's going to be defensive battle. You, you just you just don't know who's who's gonna want it a little bit more today. You know you you, you hope Furman's gonna come out on fire. You uh, you expect Clemson to to help hold up their own rankings and 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 play a great game. You know you know what you hope for a great game. I'm gonna probably be rooting a little harder for uh, the purple than I am for the uh, orange. But uh, let's see what happens and enjoy a good one. Right. Well, that's all here from the. Uh the uh, Furman Clemson tailgate out here in the parking lot behind historic Riggs Field. We'll catch up with uh, Coach Allison here in a minute. At the end of the day, the Paladin side seem very relaxed. They seem ready for a good game. They're pumped up about this game, and this is obviously the fixture that everyone circled when both teams' schedules came out in the spring. 
So this October the uh, 15th game is not just any game, it's the Upstate Derby. We look forward to you following us at Furman Soccer on Twitter, as well as Furman Soccer DRT on our YouTube channel, and be able to catch up with the highlights and live stats on FurmanPaladins.com. This is Grant Allard here at, Historic's Riggs, at Historic Riggs Field in Clemson, South Carolina. I'll catch up with you at halftime.